Where's that treasure? Alright, what's happening everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. Happy Hump Day. Yes, it's Wednesday, midweek. We're getting through it. I'm actually in the pickup line to get my daughter. It's early release day. <clears throat> Probably some of you can relate. Uh, today I want to talk about the price of admission. The price of admission, what does that even mean? I hear it a lot, or I have heard it a lot. And uh, and I wanna give you my breakdown. Um, you know, ever since I started my channel, I do not profess to know anything or more than the next guy. I simply try to document my journey uh, into coins, metals, prepping, all of these things. I share glimpses of that, share my experiences with you, and it is what it is. Uh, I obviously, there's lots I don't know. And I usually do everything wrong. So, we'll preface that with this. Uh, the cost of admission. Basically, the gist of it is, you're gonna learn, but it's gonna cost you. And that has definitely been happening. Now my line's moving, let me move my car up. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> so, you know, we walk through, we watch everybody's videos, we get hints and tips and pointers, and that stuff's great. Uh, but you're dealing with a dynamic that is slightly different state to state, location to location. You know, the dealers I deal with here in Florida are gonna be different than the dealers somebody deals with where there's only one in a small town somewhere, right? Um, so there's different dynamics that we have to work our way through. I go to coin shows, you get excited, there's lots to buy, pricing seems great, but you're paying retail still, you know, and then you find out everybody only buys at Gray Sheet. Well, they're not selling stuff at Gray Sheet. Who's buying Gray Sheet and getting Gray Sheet? Because I'm not finding that stuff. Not yet. Now I have started to, now that I'm a little more savvy, right? But that's the price of a mission. You pay extra, you learn as you go. I certainly overpaid on a lot of my collectible coins. Uh, this, you know, I've overpaid on everything. I mean, you buy bullion and what i mean right now i'm dealing with this gainesville coins i'm still waiting on my blackbeard coins bought them at 26 27 an ounce uh silver's down to like 22 and some change you know i could have saved some money there <laughs> some things like that are out of your control there's nothing you can do about it but buying stuff you've got to be a savvy savvy collector and buyer because everybody wants maximum profits, everybody. Now, my situation is, I, I get excited, I collect a bunch of stuff, and then I decide I wanna go in a different direction. Now what? Now what do I do? You know, I try to sell the stuff for a profit from what I made, but I bought high, so that's not happening. So then I try and sell the stuff at break even money, but then I'm not finding another sucker to do that. <laughs> so, so I'm not getting break even money. Now, what do you do? Well, you have a couple of choices. You don't, you don't lose money until you sell for a loss, right? So you can sit on it, wait for the market to come around, wait for years to go by potentially, or you cut and run, you sell at a loss and and hope that you put that money into better purchases moving forward that are not gonna hit you at a loss or that you buy things that you know you want. Now, I only speak about this because I dealt with a heavy price of admission. I bought a lot of collectibles. I was pumped about collectibles. I'm still pumped about collectibles just different collectibles. Now I still love the seated, seated liberties, the cap bus, the old American coins, I love them. 
I think they're underrated 100%. Uh, you know, I'm still trying to put a full set of barber halves together, trying to get a Franklin set of halves together. But do I wish I had graded them all like I'm doing? Yeah, they're pretty cool, but no. I wish I'd have booked them all. Uh, I love the book. I wish I would have booked them all or even just cataloged them all, got the whole set, and then determined, hey, is it worth great grading all these? Is it worth buying a Dansko album, putting it, this set in a Dansko? Is it worth just holding them in the flips? Who knows? I wish I had I would have paused to have done that. And you don't learn this stuff. I mean, for me, look, this is a whole life of let me do it my way. So I'm not going to learn this stuff overnight. I see other people preach it. And yeah, it's cool, but I get excited. I make my own path. And it winds up costing me money. Is my end result going to be amazing? Yeah, I love that my end result will be a full graded set. That's what I'm aiming for. Uh, did I go about it the right way? Probably not. Price of admission, right? You know, that's me. That's me paying to learn, right? I'm doing it the hard way. And for many of you, you've got the amazing ability to not have to make those mistakes. You can actually watch somebody and go, hey, he says this is not the way to go. I believe him. I'm not going to do it that way. So again, I just try to share my experiences with you guys. I'm not trying to sway anybody into doing anything the way I do it. But I do believe 100% that ultimately, at the end of the day, you can have a deep stack. You can be a guy that's like, I'm holding forever. <clears throat> and that's great. If you've got the money for that, if you're in that position, that you can hold and wait and profits will come, uh, that's fantastic. But I also believe if that's not the case and your interests go elsewhere, it's okay to cut and run. Take a loss, get what you want out of it, put it into a new investment that you are more focused on or better prepared to deal with. Now, speaking of investments, I have been selling some of my stack, some of my collection, various things. Uh, I have been preparing for other things. And let me tell you a few things that I have found out. Um, the collectibles market. You need money today? That's not where to get it from. You're going to get hosed. People want a deal, nobody's looking to buy stuff outright right now. They're at least not looking to pay full price. <laughs> uh, if you discount it enough, they'll come. But man, you're going to take a hit. You're going to take a hurt on the collectibles. Uh, currently, silver and gold bullion. I sold some gold. Everywhere wanted to give me 10% back. This was nice gold coins, fractional gold. Coin shops wanted to give me 10% back of spot, 10%. That's crazy. Worse than that, silver. People don't even want to give you spot for silver at coin shops. That's crazy. That sucks. Um, I see people trying to sell silver online two or three dollars over spot for generic it's not selling people aren't buying it people aren't buying it now you may be that they can get it for two or three over spot at their lcs or from somebody online and that's a better deal that they like or are comfortable with maybe that's why but i see a lot of people selling and it's tough it's tough Silver and gold as liquid as we want them to be. They are when times are good. When times are booming, they are very liquid. When times are tough, they're still liquid, but you're going to take a hit. You're going to take a loss. 
And that sucks. I don't want to be the one to say that. Have you experienced this? Have you had to sell recently and people are offering you less than you paid for it? You know, silver spot is down. Gold's hanging in there. It's over 1900 uh, So, you know, some of you that bought at 17 or 1800 you're in a decent spot. If you bought this year, you're not in a great spot. Um, have you dealt with this at all? Again, I guess it's price of admission, right? I mean, you don't know. We have all sold some silver and sold some gold, but there's a big difference between selling silver and gold in a booming economy where everybody's buying and selling silver and gold in a down economy where everybody else is selling and people are hurting. There is a big difference in those two sales markets. Have you noticed this? Tell me. Tell me in the comment section, have you dealt with this? Have you struggled with taking a hit to getting your value out of your metals? Uh, it sucks, and I hate saying it. I feel like I'm in a very big market, and, and I don't like taking losses. Not any way, shape, or form. Anyway, I just wanted to bring all that up. Let me get a shout out to Liberty Copper. They actually hooked us up with some goodies. I'm going to give some of that away here. I'll do a video on that Friday. Make sure you're watching. We'll give away some loot. Uh, I hope you guys have a great week. I don't mean to be a downer. I just like to discuss the stuff that's on my mind, fresh, fresh in my head with you guys. I like your feedback. I like to hear from you. And uh, have you paid the price of admission? Have you learned all you need to learn? Let me know. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's it for today. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>